Hello everyone, it's Melissa Steele, realtor extraordinaire, <laughs> part of Team Steele San Diego Homes here in San Diego. And I'm coming to you today with a question that I keep getting asked by the sellers who are interviewing us for the amazing opportunity of listing their home. Is October a good time to sell my home? Very valid question considering it's October and you might be questioning whether or not to sell your home. What I'm sharing with a lot of our sellers is if you're able to get it listed in October, let's do it. We actually have a listing that's hitting, or just had a listing that hit the market this morning. We have one coming soon this week. Uh, we have another two or three that are kind of in the works, probably gonna be hitting by, before the end of the month. October tends to be an exceptional time to list your home because when we see the market here in San Diego, it has a bit of a tendency to fluctuate around the holidays. But aside from that, we don't see a lot of downturn in like the winter months because we don't experience winter. It's not snowing in San Diego in October the way that it often is in Buffalo, New York, which affects their sale time in October. So here in San Diego, um, in January, I experience a lot of buyers straight out the gate, a lot of homes listing, a lot of activity at the start of the new year. Think about it as almost like a New Year's resolution in terms of home buying and selling. February, often a lo really robust because that inventory is picked up in January. March, I would say, tends to be a little bit slower. Um, April, May, June, July, crank up that volume market becomes hot 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 a lot of people want to move through the summer so they're trying to strategically coordinate their timing at more convenient like at a more convenient opportunity so for a lot of people that means during the summer when their kids aren't in school so april may june july hot 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 august starts to cool down a little bit september a little bit and october a little bit but honestly i would say that after the initial summer flush September, October experience a different kind of buyer. The one that's been sitting on the sidelines all summer long, as a lot of the buyers have been out in a frenzy. And September, October, they're ready to casually but seriously start looking again. So it often is an amazing time to list your home. It often uh, provides buyers who are looking to make a move before the end of the year, who are looking to accomplish their goals before the end of the year, who maybe even need to purchase a home because of tax purposes or for their personal finances before the end of the year. So September, October tend to be really great times to list your home because we have those serious buyers, people who are wanting to get in. And typically, as long as your listing is priced well, you're partnered with an amazing agent who's going to get it sold, you're working hard to get it sold, you know, doing all of the things, marketing, staging, whatever it is that your agent's advising you, it is very unlikely that that property that's listing in October will still be active in November. So you're actually, by listing it in October, setting yourself up really well for success um, in having that deal closed hopefully prior to Thanksgiving and ideally prior to Christmas if you haven't closed by Thanksgiving. So I would say as a whole, San Diego experiences one slightly small slump and it usually happens over the holiday months. So if you are on the fence um, thinking about when the right time to list might be, I encourage you to reach out to us as soon as possible. Let's strategize. Let's get a call on the calendar. Let's just figure out what it looks like for you. As you guys know, we're super no pressure. We love to strategize. And I just had a listing phone call this morning with a client who has a tenant in place and they have to give 60 days notice to that tenant. And I literally said, if they take 60 days to get out, that would bring us to end of November, straight up. I said I would highly recommend using that month of December to do a few small fixes, some handyman things, let's get it staged and ready, and then we could list it early in the new year. I said, but if that 60 day notice gets that tenant rocking and rolling and they move out in the next two weeks, let's get it listed before the end of the month. So there are many different options. It's always what you particularly need, what your, um, life looks like, what your listing looks like, what the strategy is going to look like for you in particular as an individual because literally every single human being is different. I don't think we've ever taken two listings that are the same strategy. Um, like we're not the stick your sign in the yard type of peeps. <laughs> That's not the steel team. We're going to probably be relentless in strategizing and at times you might be like, oh my god, these two are like too much. But when it comes to getting that money in your pocket, a smooth closing, and hopefully being a relatively and uh, virtually pain-free process, you'll be like, oh, 
They knew what they were doing. Something about what they were telling me was right. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. If you have any questions about listing a home, buying a home, investing in a home, literally anywhere in the world, we would love to connect with you because as we enjoy what we do every day, we could, John likes to joke that he could talk the brass ear off a monkey with, um, or talk the ear off a brass monkey. That's the saying, right? Um, with how much we love to talk about real estate. So hit us up. We would love to connect and see what the strategy might be for your particular needs and your particular goals. Talk to you guys soon.